The minivan is much maligned. In fact, it's usually a grudge purchase. But people who have owned one or own one now know that without a doubt, it's the best vehicle to move your family around. For many, this is the minivan that people aspire to own because of its long history of reliability and good resale value. Even though this might look like the outgoing van, it isn't. It's built on a new platform with a sharper design and the biggest change is hiding the rear sliding door track from the side bodywork into the window. Chrysler perfected this years ago and it's nice to see that Honda has finally done it too. Honda claims that it has the lowest step-in height of any of the minivans, which is perfect for kids. The power sliding side doors are standard on everything but the base model. As well, all the models get 18-inch wheels, where the top-of-the-line Touring gets 19. The base model does not get LED daytime running lights, and the Touring trim is the only one to get LED headlamps. The power tailgate is only available on the EXL trim and higher. The EXL trim starts at almost 45,000, which is a surprise. I'm sure that most people would rather have a power liftgate than the vacuum that's placed in the back. The vacuum is on all but the base model. It's just funny packaging. In the middle of the second row is a removable jump seat. It's heavy and it will need to be kept in your home. But after it's removed, I'm sure that most people will keep it removed and then you have two captain's chairs. The good news is all of the new Honda Odyssey minivans get these magic slide second row seats. The magic part is that they slide side to side to keep kids apart or together depending on their mood. This also allows quick access to the third row without folding forward, especially if you have a child seat in place. The center of the dash has a large, bright, and easy to read single display audio system. It comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as a backup camera. This Touring has a feature called Cabin Watch that you access on the screen. It's an infrared camera that shows the second and third row of seats, day or night. You'll notice a new push button transmission controller below the screen. Let's put it in drive because there are more changes to the transmission than just the button. Honda's moved to a 9-speed unit on all models but the Touring. This top-of-the-line Touring comes with the all-new in-house 10-speed unit. This trend to more gears is to improve fuel efficiency. Even though this van has substantially more power at 280 horsepower, up from 248, the fuel economy is almost unchanged from the previous van. It's rated at 12.6 liters per 100k in the city and 8.4 on the highway with the 9-speed. This Touring model gets acoustic glass to improve road noise and rain-sensing windshield wipers, but at the price that Honda's asking for this van, I think the automatic wipers should be on more of the trims. Now, minivans are not built for handling, but this van is rather nimble and very relaxing to drive. Some other vans, like the Pacifica, also have superior handling and an available hybrid system. Toyota offers all-wheel drive. These are two things that are not available in any Odyssey. I think that most people are looking to buy a minivan because they want something to move around their family and all their stuff in a vehicle that is comfortable, economical, and safe. You know what? This Odyssey is all of that. As I said, this minivan is expensive. The base model starts at close to 35,000 and you don't get power sliding doors. The first trim level to get a power lift gate is gonna cost you around 46,000. Now the top of the line fully loaded touring model that we have here is over 50,000. Of course, with all the extra advantages that touring features, the $4,000 might be worth it, but hard to swallow. Okay, Lacey, what did you really think of that push button transmission? Be honest. Honestly, it, it's a little weird and I, I'm not a fan. But you know what I find with all of these new technologies is once you've owned the vehicle for a few weeks, it does become second nature. But you know, the good old shifter worked well. All right, the other thing, would you buy an Odyssey with a vacuum? Oh, hands down. I don't have kids, but with Jasper, it's, it's so useful. Is that your boyfriend, Jasper? The dog. Oh, the Come dog. On. <laughs> Come on, the and, dog. Uh, see, I look at the Odyssey as a lot of people, that's their aspirational minivan. If I could have one sort of loaded van, that would be it. Would yeah, you agree with that? And I agree. It, it feels 
premium and, and high class when you drive it. And it's probably one of my favorites.